patience is sometimes tried by questions the answers to which are self-evident to all who know anything about the usages of society. For instance, it seems hardly possible in the light of the 19th century that anyone should doubt whether to take a dressing case, etc., when going with malice propense to spend the night with a friend. Such queries are too puerile to deserve an answer, and we warn the writers that they generally find a place in the wastebasket, save when they serve to point a moral, as in the present case. Fichu is pronounced Fichu, and just here we would say that we do not undertake to publish a pronouncing dictionary, and that if we answered all the queries propounding to us concerning the pronunciation of words, there would be room for little else in the bazaar. Hence our readers must excuse us from applying to such questions in the future. To Emerald Isle. If you cannot frame an original reply to a gentleman who thanks you for accompanying him on a walk or ride, how have you managed to sustain the burden of the previous conversation? If you have no conversational powers and don't know what to do with yourself in company, we can only advise you to preserve a discreet silence, by virtue of which you may gain the reputation of exceeding wisdom. Evelina. It seems to us that your course has been most reprehensible in taking advantage of your friend's hospitality to engage the affections of a suitor, and we think that your own sense of honour ought to make you discourage his attentions, and do all in your power to repair the evil you have caused. Frankie It is absolutely necessary that you should consult an oculist about your child's eyes. To lay down specific rules for the treatment of an individual case of short-sightedness would be a kind of charlatanry to which the bazaar does not aspire. Mrs. E. E. H. If you are a constant reader, you must know that we give numerous patterns of the plainest suits that are worn. The bazaar's influence would soon cease did it undertake to give those which are not worn. Augusta. You should not accept the book or any other present from Mr under the circumstances. Upon reflection, you must agree with us. We have not the pattern you desire. We have not the pattern. We have, we have not the, we have not the pattern you desire. WHD. The report that some person has offered $500 for a million of useless postage stamps is too absurd to call for investigation. A person must needs be insane or idiotic to propose such a thing. Phileas, you ask us a nice question, which we prefer to leave to the decision of your own conscience. To Stanji, there is a law in England prohibiting marriage with a deceased husband's brother or wife's sister, but there is none such in this country. To a subscriber, no, decidedly no. To perplexity, the situation is a peculiar one. If the young man cannot put aside the recollections of the childish follies of his fiancée, his love for her can hardly be the sort to endure through the perplexities of married life. <laughs>